Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to Wix for Tea. Today I have my Fan Power of Fun TBR for you, and I'm so excited because Fan Power of Fun is one of my favorite reader funs. This is the second time that it's gonna happen, and I will be a Bookstagram host once again. So I will link the Bookstagram account of the Fan Power of Fun down below. There will be pictures taken by me during the entire week. I'm super excited. So first of all, let me tell you what Fan Power of Fun is. It is a reader fan created by Taylor from Taylor's Reads and Nicole from Nicole Crosswell. And it is all about celebrating females in literature and women in general, female authors and all that jazz. And I'm so excited. And the Fan Power of Fun actually starts today. So. As in tradition, my TBR is super late once again. <laughs> so this readathon runs from October 8th until October 14th, so one whole week starting today. I just really want to share the books that I'm gonna be reading with you. There are some reading challenges. I'm not gonna fulfill all of them because I just went through my shelves and picked the most feminist reads that I could find and also try to pick really really short books so that I could hopefully read a lot and yeah let's get right into what I want to read. The first challenge is to read a fantasy with a female lead and for this I really want to read The Star Touch Queen. I actually don't know too much about this but I really like fantasies that are set in um, the Middle East and this is one of them. I really really want to read it. I've heard some mixed reviews which makes me a little bit sad but I'm still excited to pick this up. And this is actually the longest book on my TBR with around 340 pages. The next challenge is in the spirit of October and Halloween season to read a thriller or a horror or mystery book. And I'm not 100% sure if it counts but I want to read Every Heart a Doorway and I've heard such great things about this book. If you've been on booktube at all you probably know this book because it's super popular and everyone has read it and it's a lot of people's favorite book so I can't wait to finally read this. I've just recently bought it and what I know is that this is basically about children who have been to other worlds for example Narnia or Wonderland and now they are back and they can't deal with real life anymore so they are sent to this home. They all live together and apparently a murder happens and a murder mystery ensures so it does hopefully count for what the mystery challenge and this is under 200 pages. It actually only has 170 pages and I am so excited to read this hopefully really really fast and yeah I can't wait because I've been meaning to read this forever. The next challenge is to read a feminist book that was ahead of its time. So I have decided to buy and pick up a book I've been meaning to read for a really long time and that is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. This is definitely a classic. It is very, very feminist. I don't know a lot about it. I think this is a dystopian where women are treated really, really badly. And a lot of people have said that it's kind of scary how close to reality this is. Um, I'm super excited. I've read like the first two chapters and the writing style was really good, which is very good for me because I'm always a bit intimidated with classic. But for this, I really like the writing style and but it was a very interesting start. So can't wait to see where this book takes me. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. Another challenge is to read about a woman who is very different from you. And for this, I want to read Girling Up, How to Be Strong, Smart and Spectacular by Majim Bialik. Oh my God, I can't pronounce her name. I'm so sorry. But this is the actress of Amy from Big Bang Theory. And she has a PhD and she is a lot older than me and she's really successful and an actress and just different from me in a lot of ways. She's also American and I'm German and I'm excited to learn from her, from her experience, from her being a PhD and having so much knowledge and this is just a book all about feminism so I thought that it was perfect for this readathon. This book is actually under 200 pages. It has 177 pages. 
so I should be able to read this really really quickly I hope. There are two challenges that I will not be doing and one is to reread a book with a female character that you are thankful for which I think is an amazing challenge but I don't really want to reread any of my books at the moment so I decided not to do that and the other challenge is to read a poetry collection written by a woman which um, I don't have any of those on my TBR and I didn't want to go out and buy any um, so I'm not gonna be doing that challenge but the last challenge is one that is my favorite and it is to read a book that explores intersectional feminism so what that means is that feminism should be there for everyone not just for white women but also for women of color and for um, trans women and women in the LGBT community in general and it's just a really great concept so I have several books that will fulfill that challenge the first one is one that I've been super excited about and I'm really happy that I will finally have a chance to hopefully read it during the week and that is Queens of Geek by Jan Wilde and this is about two girls who go to this convention called Supercon which is kind of like Comic Con one of them is a YouTuber um, it is really inclusive because it has great anxiety rap and bisexual characters from what I've heard the representation is amazing I've heard only amazing reviews and I honestly can't wait to read this book it's only 260 pages long so I hopefully will fly through this I've heard such great things um, I think this is gonna be a five star read to be honest I have super high expectations and I can't wait to get to this hopefully during the next week and then an other book I've been wanting to read for the longest time and feel is just perfect for fan power fun is Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee. It is about I think a Chinese American girl who is bisexual and she lives in a town full of superheroes and is looking for an internship and it's about a female female romance I believe and we also have great trans rap in this from what I've heard and I'm so excited for this I honestly can't wait to read it it's only 280 pages as well so just a great short read for a readathon I believe and then I really like to listen to audiobooks during readathons now my TBR is already huge and I might not be able to get to all of them even though they are short books but I've also decided that I want to listen to the audiobook of We Should All Be Feminist by Shiamana Nagosi Adichie because I can't believe I haven't read or listened to that yet it's just a feminist must read of course it's super short the audiobook is like 45 minutes so it won't really keep me going for the entire week but I really want to read it and then if at some point I won't be able to read but we'll have audiobook time I'm considering reading or listening to either Hidden Figures, which is the story of the African-American women who used to work at NASA and had a really big scientific impact but weren't really appreciated or acknowledged at all until very recently. And then I could also listen to The Female of the Species, which I think explores rape culture and sounds super interesting. So I would probably be listening to one of these audiobooks during the week not completely sure yet but I'm thinking I might do that because audiobooks just really help me squeeze some reading in when otherwise I wouldn't really have time to read so that would be really really cool so this is my TBR um, they are really short books so I'm kind of hoping that I can maybe read a book a day but I don't know yet it might be way too over ambitious not sure but I am so excited for Pen Power of Fun you guys I cannot wait to read this book definitely let me know if you're joining it's not too late yet at all you can still read with us upload your TBR and everything because I honestly am so so excited for this readathon so definitely join if you want to um, as I said the Instagram page where I will be posting photos is linked down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you will be reading and I will hopefully see you again in another video very very soon so goodbye Sarah.